Hey, Shalom. Giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechakodash. The one some elders at Great Millstone taught me the truth. Sing honors to the Yalat. Peace and bless to the one third and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Drums of war. Russia, China, and Iran. Naval drills in the Gulf of Oman. It's just a quick update about what's going on with Russia, China, and Iran because they're going to be a part of the major prophecy of taking America out. And one thing you have to remember, the king's heart, meaning the, the ruler of a nation, is in the hands of the Lord. The heart, meaning their mind. The Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. So these moves being made by these dictators is pretty much the Lord making his his peace on the chessboard. You know, when you walking around every day and, and you looking at these everyday people and they have no clue what the hell's going on. When you out there on the corners, they look at you differently. They have no clue what the hell's going on. Remember, it's gonna always be those that that uh, that will promote you and protect you. And then there are some out there that's offended at you and they will want to harm you or take you out. But nonetheless, the Lord control all of this. So going to this article, China and Russia have teamed up with Iran to carry out military exercises as the U.S. led naval drills to protect merchant ships from missile attacks. Exercises in the Gulf of Oman began on Tuesday, as China announced that a destroyer, a frigate, and a naval supply ship will be deployed alongside Russian and Iranian counterparts. Now, you're talking about the the, Houthi, the Houthis, I guess that's how you pronounce them. They're allegedly Iranian-backed. And you notice there's always the Western propaganda that's pushing it, saying that the Houthis that are killing the Israelis over there, and that's attacking those ships are Iranian. But you know damn well America and the Western countries are not going to invade Iran. And Iran is also allies with Russia and China. You see how deep this is getting? So even though the world news, quote unquote, is, is saying that Iran Houthis are attacking Israelis and um, what's what I'm looking for? Oh, in the merchant ships, nobody saying nothing about Russia and China uh, back, uh, backing and joining Iran in these naval drills. Because the world knows what's going on over there in Gaza. And I, I remember I told you the Ben the Ben Gurion Canal. That's really the reason why that is happening. It comes as the U.S. intelligence agencies reveal their quote annual threat assessment unquote to congress that doesn't mean anyone anyone that doesn't bow down no one that capitulates to us no one who wants to um adhere to our requests or demands and with that being said jeremiah 50 and 9 for lo i will raise and come and cause to come up against babylon america an assembly of great nations from the north country i.e. Russia, and if you want to say China's a little north, but it's really talking about Russia. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And that's talking about those missiles. None of them shall return in vain in vain. Once you, once you fire that bullet, you can't reverse the trajectory. Once you fire an arrow, or let loose an arrow, you can't reverse its trajectory once you let off a missile you cannot reverse its trajectory all right the assessment warned that china russia and iran were quote challenging long-standing rules of the international system as well as u.s primacy within it but nonetheless you don't like you don't like the way they're moving and it says china has said it condemns the shipping attacks and that it has been making active efforts to ease the tension in the red sea at the, at the end of the day man they still iran they still um iranian and russian allies they're not going to stop for you it says china has been urged to help put an end to houthi attacks with its influence over iran however 
it remains unclear how much influence it has over Tehran. What now? What this really saying is, America, you ain't got no power. You ain't got no power, right? You you got to tell another country to tell another country to stop bullying you, or to stop harassing you, or to stop uh, interrupting your endeavors. Well, Jeremiah fifteen and twenty three. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? That's what's happening. You're losing you're losing your power over the world, trying to govern the world with your proverbial um gavel. Not anymore, and you're gonna be left desolate. They're no longer listening or hearing to you. I mean they're no, adhering to you, I should say, right? In response to the US threat assessment. Wayne Winbin, I believe that's how you say it, spokesman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry, accused the U.S. of malicious competition that set traps everywhere for opponents and hinders progress. What doy, right? He said, if one tries to suppress China at all costs, in the end, it will only harm oneself. <laughs> we hope that the U.S. side will correct this misconceptions about China. Once again, like I said, Western propaganda. But I'm going to close out with this precept. Jeremiah 51, 7 and 8. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Yeah. That made all the earth drunken. That's how you know it's talking about America. They're trying to push their democracy, man. Come on. The nations have drunk of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And you can't say it was the um, ancient Babylon, because the known world, I'm sorry, um, over here in the Western Hemisphere, it wasn't it wasn't um, forced to be living on a Nebuchadnezzar, right? You got to remember the Northern Kingdom left 722 BC. <clears throat> it's talking about future tense. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. But nah, this is it for um, America. Soon it shall be over. But many more prophecies must come to pass. So with that being said, pray you was at a fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamasha Allah. Muflaba Ball. Shalom.